here is an ST3740BH-R. Uh, this is a Solitude, a Grand Design Solitude. Back it up here because this is a fifth wheel. This is beautiful. Beautiful. Aaron said we got to do this one because it's pretty and it's very nice inside. So, front door is closed, so we'll go to the back door here, but we'll start outside for a change. Outside kitchen. Okay. Has the griddle. This is one I'm not too fond of, though, with the griddle, though, because you have to flip it to pack it away. Um, if anybody knows how to cook, uh, griddles stay a little oily. So... Flipping it upside down, I'm not too fond of getting my hands all messed up like that just, just to put it out before I can even use it. But and you got yourself a beverage refrigerator. Um, get you all kind of good stuff, goodies in here. This one does have a sink as well, a little rinse station, which is cool. I'm going to go on inside. Back door is right access to the bathroom, which is nice. So you don't have your have your children tracking mud all through the house or dirt or all husband. through the house or your husband or your wife, for that matter, <laughs> tracking them through the house to go to the bathroom. Uh, got yourself some coat rack here, too. Uh, towels, whatever you want to put on there. But uh, I love the Erin also, she loves this, this, this style sink. Uh, a faucet rather um, nice storage though and looks like there's something here let's see what we got Ooh, nice deep storage you're talking a good 18 inches or so 20 inches deep definitely keeps use that for storage space full time in it all right we'll walk out here there ourselves the beautiful bump house bump bunkhouse oh, hold on a second all right so aaron's warding off the sales people here but uh there's the get into the bunkhouse got yourself an up upper bunk sofa and then you got yourself a bunk down below a bunk there and then also one to the right if you narrow it down then we can Okay. Maybe something down there. Maybe get yourself some tons of storage. Tons of storage. So there's your half bath. Go back in here. Alright, so in, for, in here, oh, catch this nice detail. Get yourself like a barn door for the bath or for the bedroom. Thomas Payne double recliner. Nice dinette. Get yourself an island. Another one with an island here, guys. Definitely an important feature if you're going full time. Helps with the propane use. This one's a gray stone. And you got your TCL TV. Tons of storage. Tons of storage in this one, guys. Storage under the oven range. Residential refrigerator freezer by Samsung. And then we got ourselves a pantry. Let's open this up here, guys. Nice deep pantry. Nice deep pantry. And then we'll back it up again. Give yourself you got a coffee bar here, and there are some charging points, so this may even be a electronics bar. More storage over top. And it does have your solid steps. That's the front door, so we'll squeeze through here into the beautiful master bedroom. So with this being a fifth wheel and having the east-west bed, you get yourself a nice walk-in, nice walk-in closet. 
Very nice. Sorry about the lighting here, guys. It's rather dark. Now, this one, the biggest difference in this one here, guys, is that it does not have, uh, you should, Usually have a door there where you can fit your washer and dryer. Um, so what they do is they replaced it with a shelving unit. There's another hanger there. And it looks like actually you can place your dryer unit here in here. Have a spot for the vent. And... These shelves, yeah, this shelf over here is adjustable, so you can take it out, and that's where your, let's see if my light can get you, that's where your washer would go then. So it is set up to do so. Nice, and that was me walking into the closet. Nice east-west long queen bed for you. There is storage underneath the, the bed too. Nice thing about these east west east to west beds is that you got plenty of wall space so you can personalize your bedroom uh, if you want. It does have a separate air conditioning unit for the master. And there is a TV over top of another dresser. Go down here. <laughs> Aaron's still warding off these salespeople. Alright, so in your in your master you have your vent, manual vent very nice and very big shower has a little stool built into it the shelves and the uh, shower nozzle on this one goes up is able to adjust for you uh, once again another fairly shallow uh, step up for you and there's your, your toilet space Left and white were white friendly. That's been a running joke for us. <laughs> um, there you got some hangers. And then, you, all right, so there we, we have the vanity. Once again, our favorite faucet. Uh, getting into a lot of storage space again. Jeff. Uh, GFCI for the hair dryer and all. Uh, we'll get yourself an overview here. There we go. So, yes, it has the kitchen island, which I love. Because not only does it give you more counter space, it also gives you more cabinet space and the sun's in a bad spot here let me swing around this way once there we go well maybe but anyway uh gives you some tons of tons of storage space which is super important when you're full time in it super important all right so this one here gross vehicle weight rating 16.8 16.8 and 2,648 pound cargo capacity. That's 14, wow, 14,000 pounds dry weight. So once again, getting into a heavier, heavier truck. Maybe like a 3,500 or 350. There's another tank on the other side too. It's a larger tank. And then get into your electric automatic your automatic leveling system. It does have a nice heated uh, underbody here. Or a heated basement. And the underbelly is also heated. I believe. Um, get into your water hookups and everything definitely my what I'm one of the things I'm looking forward to when we upgrade is one of them and also hopefully one of them <laughs> so hey guys make sure you hit that subscribe button 
And then once you do that, turn on the bell so that you get notifications on when we post more videos.